I regularly get asked by people in the community what are the best universities where I can learn music AI. Rather than continuing answering all of these requests individually, I've decided to compile this video where I'm going to guide you through a list of important universities that have great undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in music, speech and audio AI. A couple of disclaimers before we delve into the topic. First, this list is by no means comprehensive. I'm leaving out a lot of universities that offer degrees in music AI. Second, I'm focusing only on universities from Europe and Northern America, specifically the United States and Canada. This is because these are the universities that I'm the most familiar with. There's a main difference between universities in Europe and the United States. Generally speaking, university programs in Europe are cheaper, way cheaper than the ones in the United States. We start with universities in Europe and then we move on to United States and Canada. The first one in the list is University Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona. They have a great uh, research group called the Music Technology Group. This is one of the best places where you can study and do research in music technology in general and specifically in music information retrieval. They offer both graduate degrees. I think they have a uh, music processing kind of MIR, um, master's degree. They have uh, PhDs as well. They do amazing top-notch uh, top research in MIR, audio DSP, computational musicology. They're literally one of the leading institutions in music AI. They produce a lot of really good research. They are the publishers, the founders, the creators of a music processing library used both in academia and in industry called Essentia. So this is really the top of the top. They're also quite well connected with the industry. Being in Europe, they have cheap fees. The main point of reference here is Professor Xavier Serra, who's the d director of the Music Technology Group and is one of the leading figures in music information retrieval as a researcher and as a sort of coordinator of research. Cool. Another amazing research institution or university where you can study music AI is Queen Mary University of London, specifically in the Centre for Digital Music. This again is another top-notch institution in music AI. They offer graduate degrees and PhDs. They are interested in all things MIR, audio processing. They do also some generative music, but there are, there's, there's, there's a huge focus on music cognition. They also come up with a lot of top-notch research. They're super well connected with the industry. The issue is that given the, the Centre for Digital Music is based out London, is a UK-based university, exp the, the fees are quite expensive. The good thing though is that at least for PhDs, they have uh, scholarships available, which make like the whole process way easier and nicer. Cool. Moving on, we move to France at IRCAM. Uh, IRCAM is not a university, it's a research institute. It's one of the most prestigious research institutes in music technology. So they, they sort of cover a lot of different traps in music tech. For the ones that we are the most interested in, they, they do research in generative music or sound generation. AI music creativity, they have a lot of research in human computer interaction and new music instruments, intelligent instruments. And they really, really come up with uh, kind of like top tier research. So, this is also another great option if you want to uh, consider things that are more like on the generative side, more in the sort of like HCI, so human computer interaction kind of thing. Moving on, uh, we move to Austria uh, at University Johannes Kepler in Linz. Uh, there is a research group here that does really cool stuff in music processing. It's called the Intelligent Music Processing and Machine Learning Group. They do research in music information retrieval, audio DSP and recommendation systems. Uh, the fees are quite cheap and at the same time, they, the, the quality of the research that they produce, uh, it's 
quite stunning. And they have there, like as a point of reference, Marcus Schedel, who's another sort of leading figure in music AI and music recommendation systems. Uh, again, remaining in Austria, there's also the University of Technology Vienna or TU Wien. Um, they have an MIR group and they do research in MIR and audio DSP. They have cheap fees. As I said, most of these universities in Europe, apart from the ones in the UK, have quite accessible fees. Uh, the point of reference here would be Peter Nies, who's another sort of very important a researcher in MIR. Moving on, uh, we go to uh, Germany at the University of Technology Berlin. Uh, here there is a research group which is quite cool. It's called the Audio Communication Group. They do a lot of things, but they mainly focus on audio processing, music processing and speech processing. So they cover more than music. They are also interested in audio spatialization and this kind of stuff. Um, again, fees are quite cheap. And the point of reference here would be Professor Stefan Weinzier. So yeah, really, really suggested university. I've been there, I've given a talk there. Yeah, it's a very, very um, nice group and uh, very good uh, programs as well. Moving on, uh, we remain in Germany and we discovered the audio laboratories Er Erlangen. Now, this is not a university, but it's an audio lab that's associated to a university that's called the Frederick Alexander Universität in Langen, Nuremberg. Sorry if I'm butchering the, the German here. So they offer research-based uh, degrees and PhDs, so you can do research here. And um, they are mainly focused here on audio encoding. They did a lot of work with audio encoding, like MP3, for example. They do some music processing and digital multimedia signal processing. Uh, the, the, the sort of professor of reference here would be Meinhard Müller, uh, who's, I mean, again, another leading figure in MIR, has produced a lot of cool research. He's also published one of the most important uh, sort of like books in music processing called Fundamentals of Music Processing, it's sort of like Bob, Bible for uh, the space. Cool. Moving on, uh, we move to the Netherlands at the University of Utrecht. Uh, here, um, I mean, the research group is not necessarily big, but it's very, very uh they, they produce very good research and uh, they mainly focus, I would say, on music cognition, computational musicology. So it's a little bit less on the MIR, even though they do MIR, it's more like on the sort of like music psychology, computational musicology. But uh, it's quite amazing. So uh, the, the, the point of reference there would be Anya Volk, Professor Anya Volk, and she's done amazing work in music processing, music cognition. So yeah, this is definitely another university to check out, uh, which offers like great programs in music AI. And finally, we go to Italy to a university of Milan. Now here, uh, there is a lab called the Music Informatics Lab. And in this lab, they do a lot of things, but they mainly focus on music processing, MIR, and some audio sound amount, not necessarily uh, music related. Again, here, you're gonna get like quite cheap fees and the quality of um, the education there like is really, really good. And at the same time, the quality of the research is really good. This was the list of European universities that I had for you. You know where you can also learn music AI. That's on the Sound of AI Academy, a new learning platform that I've recently launched. There I plan to publish a lot of different courses that will enable you to become an AI music ninja.
For the time being, I've published Advanced Python Programming, a video course with more than five hours of material that will allow you to take your intermediate Python skills and get them to the next level. Now I'm going to go through some universities in Northern America, the United States and Canada. The first one I want to mention is the Georgia Institute of Technology. They have two research groups that are relevant. One is called the Center for Music Technology and the other one is called the Center for Signal and Information Processing. So yeah, I mean, they do really, really cool stuff. They also built, I remember, a rowboat that could perform in real time marimba and improvise with other jazz, human jazz players. They do a lot of research in audio processing, speech processing, automatic speech recognition and uh, music processing. And of course, like the quality of the research is top notch. So yeah, if you can get a degree there, yeah, this is definitely like a really, really good. We now move on to New York, to University Steinart. Here they have a quite interesting research group that does work in MIR, audio DSP, audio ML. They've also done a lot of work on bird sound recognition, which is something like super cool. Um, they are really well connected with the industry. The, the problem is that, I mean, these programs are quite expensive. I think you can get some scholarships before PhDs, but generally the programs are expensive. And then you have Stanford. Of course, Stanford doesn't need any introduction, but I want to mention that they have a research center called Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. There, they do a lot of work with music and computers, not necessarily only music AI, it's beyond that. And things that research relevant for music AI would be signal processing, music cognition, some computer music and uh, music information retrieval. <laughs> they are obviously super well connected with the industry. The research is always top notch, but unfortunately, once again, these programs are quite expensive unless you you're lucky enough to, to get a scholarship. Then we remain in California, but we move down to Los Angeles. So here you don't have a lab that is mainly focused on music processing, but rather on speech. And the lab is called the Speech Processing and Auditory Perception Lab. And here, as you might guess, they do research and work in speech processing, human speech perception, speech generation, and also bird song classification. So if, you're, if music is not really your main thing, but you're more mostly interested in speech, you may want to take a look at UCLA. Now let's move on to Canada. So this is one of my favorite. Uh, University Simon Fraser, Simon Fraser University in Vancouver. So we're on the West Coast. So there's the School of Interactive Arts and Technology. And here they produce some of the coolest research in generative music, which is leadered by Philip, Professor Philip Pasquier. So he's, again, one of the, the really top-notch research, researchers that you have in music AI. His main thing is generative music, sound generation, this sort of thing. So if that is your thing, Simon Fraser University is definitely like a good option for you. The, the sort of like uh, research topics that you're gonna get there are, as I said, generative music, AI music creativity, and computational creativity. Then we have McGill University at Montreal. So we're still in Canada. So here you have, uh, if I remember correctly, there should be a music tech uh, kind of research group where they do a lot of MIR, audio DSP, audio ML, but also speech processing. And they are very well connected with the industry as well. So these are the main universities that I wanted to list. There are some bonuses. So you can check out the University of Huddersfield, which is where I did my PhD. It's an amazing university, especially for music, music tech, computer music. And the, the point of reference for you there would be Stephen Jan, my supervisor. 
probably one of uh, the best supervisors you could ever get, I believe. Then you can check out University of Kent with Anna Jordanus as your point of reference. Uh, she is really, really active in computational creativity and she has also uh, considerable uh, experience in music AI. Then you can check out the Polytechnic University in Milan. They have a master's program that's called Music and Acoustic Engineering. This one is also really good. You can check out the University of Durham. We are in the UK. The main touch point here would be Professor Nick Collins. He's done really cutting edge research in generative music. And finally, you can check out Goldsmiths University at London. They used to have a lot, a lot of activity around computational creativity and generative music, music AI. Right now, I believe it's a little bit lesser, but still they have a lot of research in the space. With this, I've shared all the universities that I wanted to mention. If you found the video useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the Sound of AI channel if you haven't done so. And finally, I want to mention the Sound of AI Slack community where you can share your learning process in music AI with more than 5,000 people. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Take care for now.